Hey guys, it's Hype Train here, this time with another series of JRPG news for the month of May 2023. This is a video series where I round up current news going on with JRPG games. I'll include articles in the description below where you can read up more on all the news I mentioned in this video. So with all that said, let's just jump right into it. A well-known leaker named Nate the Hate leaked that Persona 6 might be coming in late 2024, with the reveal happening at some point later this year. Persona 6 is rumored to be a PS5 exclusive on launch. The footage shown here is from a Persona 5 trailer, but I hope to see more info on Persona 6 soon. Also, the Persona 3 remake is rumored to have a reveal at Xbox Games Showcase on Sunday, June 11th, 2023. In a past video, I've shown leaked footage of the Persona 3 remake. I absolutely love the Persona games, so these rumors have definitely got me all excited. Developer Marvelous released a trailer for a Rune Factory spin-off game that's tentatively known as Project Dragon. This trailer was released during a Marvelous Games showcase on May 26, 2023. Project Dragon gives off Genshin Impact vibes with its graphics, art style, and action combat. This game looks like a crazy direction for the Rune Factory franchise, as the games usually are more focused on being a farming simulator. There's no release date yet or any other info. Also at the showcase, Marvelous revealed that Rune Factory 6 is in development, but no other information has been revealed. In a financial briefing, Square Enix stated that they want to release more and higher quality big games. So Square has been concentrating on getting more subscriptions from their MMOs Final Fantasy XIV and Dragon Quest X. They also focused on getting more revenue from their mobile games. They want to use that revenue and put it into making more big AAA titles that are in line with something like Final Fantasy XVI. Currently, the other big titles in development at Square besides FF16 is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Kingdom Hearts 4. I'm all for more AAA titles, but I still think that they need better marketing for the games, and they need to space out their game releases more. Some of their recent games like the Diofield Chronicle, Valkyrie Elysium, and Star Ocean 6, I thought that with a bigger budget and more marketing, could have been bigger game releases. So hopefully they figure things out and we the JRPG fans can get these higher quality big games. Developer Nihon Falcom announced that their recent western releases of Trails from Zero and Trails to Azure have exceeded expectations in terms of sales. The Trails of series are turn-based JRPG games with a long-running continuous storyline spanning more than 10 games. The series is a cult favorite among J JRPG fans and has a very dedicated fan base. Trails from Zero and Trails to Azure were actually older games in the series but never received an English translation until very recently. I think it's a good thing that these games did well in terms of sales, as I feel the series needs more recognition in the West. I hope this means more trails of games for the Western market and faster releases. Chinese website Bahamut published a 20 minute video of Atelier Marie remake, The Alchemist of Salzburg, showing off new gameplay footage. The video shows the opening scene, minigames, a fairy event, dialogue, shopping, gathering, combat, synthesis, and a photo mode. 
Atelier Marie Remake is a remake of Koei Tecmo's very first Atelier game that originally released for the PS1 way back in 1997. The remake changes the game from the ground up with new graphics, artwork, sound, animations, and many more changes. Atelier Marie Remake is set to release for the PS4, PS5, Switch, and PC July 13th, 2023. Bandai Namco released a trailer for the story DLC for One Piece Odyssey. One Piece Odyssey is a turn-based JRPG based on the popular One Piece anime and manga. The game was released on January 13th, 2023 for the PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. The game received a mostly positive reception among One Piece. Peace fans, but the major complaint on the game was that it was too easy. The story DLC is named Reunion of Memories and it was released on May 25th, 2023. And it seems to be more of the same type of gameplay from the main game. Publisher Furuyu and developer Akuria release a second trailer for their upcoming action JRPG, Cry Machna. The trailer showed off the game's combat, defensive mechanics, inventory, and upgrading characters. The game's vibe, art style, and combat really reminds me of Punching Grey Raven, which I've said in an earlier preview, and this is a really good thing. The game will release worldwide in fall 2023 for PS4, PS5, Switch, and PC. This game definitely has my interest, and I'll see how this game does when it releases. Nippon Ichi Software has released a debut trailer for Zykatrice, a turn-based JRPG with a first-person perspective in combat. The game is set in modern day, in an academy with students that have superpowers. You play as a teacher in the academy, leading a group of seven students. There will be school simulation elements where you increase your students' stats with classes and school events. There's going to be a wide variety of skills in combat, with about 300 in total. Combat is turn-based with a first-person perspective which reminds me of old school Shin Megami Tensei games. The storyline seems to be presented in a visual novel format. The game is set to release for the PS4, PS5, and Switch in Japan on June 29th, 2023. A Western release has not been announced yet. I'm not sure if this is something I'd be into. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the artwork or the combat. So there you have it, that's all the current JRPG news I have so far for the month of May 2023. I'm looking to concentrate on mostly making Street Fighter 6 content the next few months, so JRPG content will take more of a backseat. I'll see if there's any opening in my schedule to make more JRPG content, if there's any downtime with Street Fighter 6. If you like this video and want to keep up on all the latest news on JRPGs, be sure to click on the like and subscribe button. It helps out my channel, and it helps me put out more content such as this video. Once again, my name is Hype Train, I'm signing out, and I'll see you next time.